Yo, what is poppin' people, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Out of Order and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. This is the series where I teach you guys as much as I can about After Effects. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to motion track Element 3D into your project. So anyway guys, without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, let's just get right into this tutorial. So this is a pretty easy tutorial, it's not too hard. Um, if you know how to motion track, you're pretty much all set because that's what we're going to be doing in this video. But uh, anyway, let's just get right into it. So I have two clips right here. I have um, a Call of Duty clip, as you can see. This is Black Ops 2. And uh, I have the gun green screened out. So as you guys can see, the gun is completely green screened out. And then on the bottom, we have the world clip. I also got a Z-Depth and Players clip out, but uh, I'll show you guys that later in the video. But uh, for now, we're just going to be getting right into the tutorial. So, um... Motion tracking element. It's pretty easy to do. So what you're going to want to do is, like in my last motion tracking tutorials, you're going to want to find a part you want to motion track. So I'm thinking as soon as he shoots this guy and as soon as he scopes out, we're going to motion track um, some element here. So let's just get right into that. So I'm going to copy this bottom layer right here. And keep in mind, guys, this will work with any clips, all right? This doesn't need to be Black Ops 2 clips. As long as your clip is clean and not too shaky and, like, there's, like, no HUD or anything on your screen or, like, anything, like, blocking the screen, really. Like, so basically, as long as your clip is clean and not too messy or whatever, it should track just fine. But uh, if you get an analysis solved, failed, or whatever, there's not much we can really do about it. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be making objects appear out of air as soon as this guy shoots so i'm just gonna we're gonna hide the gun layer for now because we won't be needing it and i'm just gonna copy and paste uh the bottom layer which is this and then i'm just gonna create a clip that is just as long as the track so as long as i want the track duration so it ends right here which is when he scopes in again so as you can see guys we got this whole area right here to track and this is what we're going to be tracking so you're just going to want to cut out an area of what you're going to be tracking so i got the clip here and then i just you know cut out a little area and right here it's the same clip but anyway what once you do that you're just going to want to right click on it go to track camera and track and stabilize go to track camera and then this should pop up on your screen saying analyzing and background and you just gotta wait a couple minutes and then it should motion track everything all right so a couple minutes went by and as you can see everything tracked out perfectly almost uh yeah actually i'd say everything tracked out perfectly so to select your track points make sure you have the actual clip that you motion track to selected and then make sure you have the effect selected as well and if for some reason you still can't select any track points make sure to go to view and show layer controls make sure that is always checked or control shift h all right just make sure that you can select the track points otherwise you know you're not going to be getting very far but anyway as you can see here we got our little track points and now what we can do is if you want to like track like let's say you want a specific object in a specific location like let's say we want to add something on the floor here you could just select the track points on the floor generate null in camera create a null in camera and then use the position as the null to to adjust the position of your element but i'm not going to be doing that i'm going to be doing something else instead which you'll see here in a bit so instead of just creating that we're going to do create camera right over here in this corner um on the effects controls so just click on create camera and then you should notice that um a new layer will appear this is your 3d camera and now this is essentially going to be like the motion track so any th any 3d objects that are underneath this camera layer or like in the you know the thing of the camera layer uh is basically going to be affected by the track so with that being said i'm just going to create a new solid here uh we're just going to make a new solid and then i'm going to put it underneath the camera and uh i also want it to be underneath the gun so like as you can see like when we have our elements you know the the i'll show you in a little bit but basically the gun will clip through the object but uh we'll fix that by putting it underneath the gun layer this is only if you're doing these type of clips guys if you're doing a normal clip you don't have to worry about this at all so anyway guys i got this black solid that i just created it's underneath the camera thing and we're gonna add the effect on it called element now this is video copilot's element it's a plugin and uh yeah if you don't know what it is it basically allows you to track 3d objects and like do stuff with 3d it's basically a 3d engine in after effects it's not as good as like cinema 4d or like blender but it still gets the job done so now that we got element on here we're just gonna go to scene setup 
And now, once you click on Scene Setup, this menu will pop up. And here's where you can basically add any 3D object you want. So you can just go on Google and search up 3D objects and download them. And then go to File, Import, and then Import the 3D object. But for tutorial sake, we're just gonna be, I'm just gonna be uh, making circles appear everywhere. Um, or actually, no, I have a better idea. Instead, I'm gonna make the bullet appear like how you saw at the beginning. So, here I have projectile weapons, the projectile weapons pack by Video Copilot. There's also an object pack that comes with Element that has all these objects here. And uh, I'm gonna be using the projectile weapons pack, so just find like any object you want really, or import any objects. Like, you know, if you wanna motion track a clock around, you can do that, which I, I've done before. I've messed around with this a few times. But uh, yeah, if you want to motion track a clock somewhere, you can do that. Or you can just do a light bulb or just anything. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be using these bullets right here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do that. And then once you have your object in there, and then you have like all your materials and stuff. Basically, you have the object set the way you want it to be. Um, just click OK. And you should notice that our object is already motion tracked right here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, to the adjust the object, so let's say you want the um, object, like, I don't know, you want it to be smaller or bigger or whatever. You can go to particle look under group one and particle repl replicator, sorry. And then you can adjust basically everything here. So you can adjust the size of the particle, the position of the particle, um, or not particle, the object, I guess. I don't know why I'm calling it particle. I'm so used to particular. But nevertheless, you can adjust the position of the object and such. And uh, here's the cool part about element. You can actually create multiple objects of each other. So if I want to increase the particle count to, let's just say, 20, there's going to be 20 bullets like all on top of each other here. But what's cool about it is that we can change the way the objects interact with each other and how they uh, basically like you can take you can have an object take up the entire screen if you want. So to make multiple objects you're going to want to go down a particle look under group 1 and go to multi object and then enable multi object. Now a bunch of settings will come up here and this part may get confusing for some people but if you know what you're doing, you can basically just mess around with all these settings right here. And as you guys can see here, we are basically just randomizing the uh, objects. So as you can see, we got a ton of bullets here. And you can do this for like a lot of things. You can do this for position. You can displace rotation too here. Let me just figure out. Yeah, there we go here. X rotation, you can displace that around. Y rotation, Z rotation and then rotation random too. So this is how I did that uh, preview that you saw at the beginning of the video with all the bullets flying around. So yeah, you're just gonna wanna position and play around with the settings on this multi-object thing. And as you can see guys, that's how to motion track objects with particular. So you're probably thinking that's cool and all, you know, I got my object around everywhere, but how do I blend it in? How do I make it look better? Well, there are many things you can do to make it look better. For example, if you go to custom layers, texture maps, and then if you select under layer one, the uh, texture map, so the world layer, for example, let me find it right here. If you select the world layer, and then you can go down into render settings, physical environment, and then override layer, you can change and select the world layer again here. And also, you can also go down into lighting and you can add lighting effects. So as you can see, there's a drop down menu here that has tons of lighting effects. I usually use cinema or 360. So that's what cinema looks like. That's what 360 looks like. But you can just go through all these settings right here until you find one that looks best. So I'm just gonna stick to cinema. And then another thing you can do here, um, you can enable ambient occlusion, which, you know, if you don't know what ambient occlusion is, it's basically like shadows, but like, not shadows really it's like it's like it's hard to explain it's basically like the shading all right if you know what shading is that's basically ambient occlusion so you can adjust the ambient occlusion settings here you know messing around with the radius all that stuff and honestly you can just go ham on all these settings right here all these settings are basically just going to change the way the object renders so you know if you want if you want reflection or fog or depth of field these you kind of need like a specific camera for so you'll have to do some tweaking with your camera settings but uh, just play around with everything there and honestly you will find something that looks good just make sure you always go through the lighting and try out all the settings there because there's a ton of stuff there and uh, yeah that's basically it 
So this is what the result looks like. As you guys can see, it looks pretty nice actually. I really like the way this turned out. Now obviously it's not going to be the best, but this is just a really fast tutorial just for beginners. You know, I'm just trying to make a beginner's tutorial. I'm not going to go too depth into Element unless you guys want me to. If you guys really want me to make more Element videos, then let me know and I'll do more tutorials. But for now, I think this looks great. And then now you can just basically import this into your edit or whatever. And uh, as you can see here, I got all my clips here still. So if we enable the gun layer, you'll notice that the gun layer isn't affected. You know, it's not like, let me see. If I put the gun layer underneath the element, it'll look super weird. As you can see, it does not look good at all. But uh, if you put it underneath it, it looks just fine. So yeah. Now we're almost done with the tutorial, but the last thing I want to show you guys is um, with element, if you're going to motion track anything to a clip, I always recommend pre-composing the element, the particle stuff, the uh, objects, and the actual clip together under one pre-comp. So as you can see here, just select everything, pre-compose it into one pre-comp. And then that way you can do stuff like timer mapping on the pre-comp. So as you can see here, if I just do something like, you know, just make a basic, um, just apply some basic velocity there. You know, it's not going to look that good, but like, as you can see, velocity works great with element. It doesn't really affect it, you know, because it, it's a 3D engine. It's not like, an old clip. it's not its own clip, you know, but yeah, as you can see, guys, timer mapping works perfect with element. You can do so much with this plugin. Now we're pretty much done with the tutorial here, but the last thing I want to show you is how I made the preview at the beginning of the video. So I'm just going to open that composition right here. So here's the composition for the preview I showed at the beginning of the video. Um, it looks kind of crazy, but it's honestly not too bad. I made this in like an hour or so. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, we got the world layer. This one's got a few effects on it. We got another world layer on top of that. Uh, and then we got the adjustment layer for the uh, on the Z-Depth clip, which I showed at the beginning of the video. So as you can see, I'll show it again here. As you can see, we got ZDEF clips on this, and uh, we also got the gun green screened out. So uh, for this for this one, I basically just did some ZDEF effects, some world effects, and then I also added some trap code particular. So as you can see, we got trap code particular up here with Esquo on there. I know a lot of people prefer Deep Glow, but eh, Esquo gets the job done too. So yeah, we just got some a lot of particular here. So yeah, all these layers right here are particular, except for the top one, that's the element layer. And um, yeah, that's basically the tutorial, guys. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure to comment down below what other tutorials I should make. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe. I hope I helped you guys out. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you again for watching. It's been Out of Order, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, boys.